what they could do with this and this double duelist setup. A, sm a slow default to start, but Inji now forward on a 3-2 split towards this A site. You see first contact. Looking to get initiated by JZZ. Here's a running bait board. Right behind the smoke is going to be Zeppa. He drops first blood right now. And that's two Zeppa. Zeppa. Oh, Zeppa. Oh, third hat trick within the round. This finally gets answered back by Artisan. At least onto Oxy. Spike has been dropped. And Cloud9 already has the advantage. Already. This is stolen. But at least Cloud9 gets the pistol. Zeppa. Long locks coming up with a 4K. What a round. The wall almost playing against MABR that FRZ used up mid. Zeppa able to hide right behind it and continuously find the backs of MIBR. What a call by C9. Closely stacking A, not even wanting to play the retake. They were up in the face of MIBR. So we already see that positional, uh, the defense positioning rather, that C9 wants to take off that pistol round. As we now get into round two, we'll see how MIBR adjusts. C9 does have a few buys across the board. Nothing too extreme. Oxy with a Guardian. Ooh. And the Flash already gets early info. So Cloudburst gets popped up. Ooh. And as soon as it comes down, though, at least it's a one for one. The dog comes out from the portal. And C9 swarms in within the showers. And they drop the two players trying to aggress from MIBR. At least RGL and the rest of MIBR okay. sees that pressure. They want to move back towards the short. And they even things up on a 3 3, fighting towards the back of the site. Yeah, Oxy just got the call that it might be coming towards him. He pulls back. But now hearing that spike plant is able to take the gate oh, crash. They were ready for that to come across. Ready to push towards the spawn. But the numbers are still dwindling down right now for MIBR in this eco. At least they've upgraded to an Guardian and a Bulldog with the spike down for them. There's a first orb being thrown down by Whippy. The tap on the spike. RGL has to peek for some info. Spots the Dome of Vanity as that allows FRZ to push forward towards pipes and give the advantage here for MIBR to potentially get this thrifty. Whippy. The spike is not even at halfway, and this is great discipline by MABR to just hold it down. He does get the first pick off the FRZ, but that clock is running down too little That's too time. late. MRBR will be able to answer wow. back, and they tie up the game. The second round, taking that away from Cloud9. I think MIBR also identified how far forward C9 wants to play in that situation. You put down the right smokes in an aggressive rushing MIBR gets to find the trades that they want. They're refragging, they got the one in shower, they're able to find the same thing at short in just power in numbers at this point. Flowing all the way through U-Haul and then back through spawn and into the site for their, their own retake, honestly, to stop Whippy from that plant. What a, an aggressive round from MIBR, flipping the switch on C9 and now guns to dictate the game. They're like an A so far, so MIBR stay. Good flashes coming in from Long B. A lot of utility from Vanity we've seen already come through that teleporter, so easily being able to affect the A site from B. A huge boon there. Same time while well, you had that dog come out towards the portal already at a first flash from Vanity down mm -hmm. towards Long. And with this new patch, you don't have any left here, so... Oh, Whippy. They're gonna have to gamble it up together while... Whippy's trying to get this aggressive position. Blue Bug comes out into... Hookah, at least the scout thing is out. And that inches C9 to find some information and already at first he gets the punishment. You see JZZ and Mazin coming out of that shower as they're able to help each other with a guiding light, but it's all about short. <laughs> they're still pretty good. It might be hard to get the backstab after for these trades. Yeah. But it's only a buck in a classic left for the last two players of Cloud9. Go together trying to work towards the short. Spike has been planted in a really great spot for this triangle formation you have for MIBR towards the back of the A site. But these upgrades that you have now for Oxy and Vanity, these are rifles and definitely players that could get it done at the disadvantage. Second round now, MIBR has taken the spawn side of defense. Nice. There's that first nice pick though. Knows that RGL's just around the corner. The flash in the front, nice second shot. Now we're coming in for the tap. Artisan still waiting towards the top, and now once again, you just wait the clock down. More discipline coming out of MIBR. Tap on the spike, trying to at least get the gun away from Artisan. It's not going to happen. Oxy dies, and MIBR take the lead after the Red Bull clutch. Well played, three rounds now towards A. We did see a bit of a, a excursion from JZZ to throw Boomba into Hookah to give 
Cloud9 may be something else to work off of, but it has been a full A focus for MIBR. And again, two rounds they're pushing fully into spawn to disrupt how Cloud9 can retake the site, right? They don't have the option to set up with these raised nades or get Oxy in a good position. It's the long flank, taking longer, losing spike time. And MIBR is continuously playing it safe. In that last round, doing great a great job of finally sussing out Whippy, who was pushed up to stop that. And again, towards A Vans, it's not stopping. It's a quick combo to drop Zeppa. You already see that Oxy's inside that teleporter. The doctor opened the spot, gets the stun. He's trying to find the time oh. to get the pick and finally does so. So he ends up the situation in round number four. Jake under heavy attack towards the U-Haul. There's the lineup. Oh, oh, and third! Oh, oh, Artisan falls remaining. down. That includes the spike. RGL in a clutch situation. Four against him. Stuck all the way far oh, behind yeah. towards short A. Wild to see, see that happen. And Cloud9 still putting up the same defense that MIBR's run through a few times. And we see that, that there's a reason they'll keep positioning like this. Jake can hold down U-Haul, albeit a 3K that time. And now it's just going to push off. Meister RGL here. He goes around looking for a last frag. Yeah, probably just save the weapon save at this, this point. Yep. There's no way four versus one, but kind of like what you see right now from Jake within the U-Haul. Oh yeah, Zuka didn't land like that one. You went for the fundamentals, three players trying to push against this player right here. And a player that's been questioning himself in the last season towards that mid sign, mm -hmm. where he's like, oh, maybe I'm not putting those numbers up, but you saw in the off season, he went through with the performance coach, and now coming in on the first time he gets the pressure towards that U-Haul to get a 3K the way that he does, it's a great start here for what was the rookie last year for C9. 10 seconds left. I think being able to figure right out how this defense, or I'm sorry, offense and defense from MIBR at A works. They're throwing even more at showers, making sure that that ground cannot be gained. It seems like MABR, even with a bit of showers push, that right side of A site, it's just too much already. Cloud9 actually four alive too on this round. So the rounds they did go down, this kind of helps if they were losing weapons. You'll see this buy coming in from MIBR on the low armor. No outlaw yet. Not yet. We'll have to see. What's been pretty good for C9 too is seeing that MIBR has been getting that pressure towards showers, and as soon as C9 tries to answer back, they're just bolting it towards the other end. Yep. So I like that you played a little bit more passively this time for C9 and greeted them and you stopped them. So now yeah. you see my VR defaulting differently this time around. Yeah, right to showers, man, silly. <laughs> An easy one. Oh my word. Lower buy that you have for my BBR, MIBR, sorry, two hero rifles as Artisan's trying to get the push forward. Dash already activates, stopped by the flash of vanity. And now the long range duel won by Oxy. One eliminated, spraying through the Viper wall. So MIBR is still able to maintain this spike. Quickly rotate to in position to be 3v3 already on the B site. Yeah. And the rotation can oh, still come in from Whippy and Jake. Slow movement just to turn the push in with a few nades. Nice chip damage out. And I think C9 have the read on this, even though they're not pushed up at A. Especially with that decoy, that's going to give mm -hmm. enough. Now that allows the wall to come up. Everybody's going to decay, try to run through. Easy kills right now as the flash Zom. comes towards One the front from Moxie as well. A couple of trades. Mazine's going to be the last player standing. Just trying to watch all of his angles, trying to see if C9 is going to push aggressively, but. Now it's time for C9 to show that discipline. Playing power of numbers, holding back towards 30 seconds the spawn. Left. And they just want to wait and see if the TP is going to happen or if a tap's going to happen within this B site. Slow movement from Mazin. I think a touch plant, try to figure out where everybody is and then Ten go next round left. as C9 comes flying out of the woodwork here. You may actually get the plant down. Now with no flashes though, it comes down to a DM and it's good enough. Cheap. Hit by the snake bite, easy kill for Jake. Yep. Rotations from Cloud9 are already on point. They continue to get a, a bit of early info. I think Vanity of all Not people, and we're seeing him kind of be very patient at B, loves info, loves to work off the info. He kind of push himself out sometimes just to get a bit if they're not, if they don't have enough mid-round. 
So we see that push showers, info gained. It's actually been a fight almost all the time. We've had Whippy pushing mid, even for audio there. And a lot of times for C9, you'll see Whippy in a different zip code getting that info, helping to make a mid round call off of audio and rotations from the opponent. So really good job here of C9 to consider these rotations, the info they're getting by pushing a bit, but not stretching themselves too far that it can't still be a strong site hold. Get and MIBR is now having trouble trying to, trying to put something else on the table. There was three strong hits towards A. A little hit towards B last round. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Oxy's in who could have started off round six. TP opens right away. Zeppa's trying to answer back to just help Oxy. As even a dog out from Vanity is going to push Artisan away. So they tried to go for a double duelist boom bot pink. But Oxy got the drive by running back within the sign. And look at that early rotate coming back yeah. towards the A side as well. These reads are starting to look really good here for C9. Stand but down. Jake just falls. Ooh, that's the shot. Looking to Welcome send out the cabbages. Okay, ultimate down. Interesting play. Just putting a little bit of pressure onto that B site that Kaladine has to care about, but how much will they? put into that leaving two members they have each site guarded two and two trail. and it's going to be that u-haul work again here for mibr just to try and make c9 make the error especially with those seekers coming out the team oh, with ross and mibr is looking to work towards this a site oxy's a second to fall beautiful flash out from mibr save vanity's there Player to help standing. as much as he can but instantly we get the plant tp comes across and they know zeppa's on the flank spike down planet at a default spot and zeppa's looking to at least Try to find players falling back within this short area. Wow. The Jiggle Peak from Marazine just spotted him. And we're just setting up, and it's looking very good for MIBR to finalize round number six. Oxy comes out with a laser beam to start this off, and the, and the conversion goes to MIBR with four members to still make it work towards the A site. Really well played throughout the round to get C9 moving a little bit. I think that's almost one of the best things uh, MIBR can do right now is the longer you wait and the less info C9 has, you're gonna get them off of their, their early defensive positions, a little bit of rotation, and it seems like it is all MIBR needs to get the positioning for this right here. Another round, three to three now, as we go back and forth here on buying cloud nine's pick. And they only lose Mazin and JZZ in that one. Zeppa stays alive. So it looks like C9 should be able to bring a little bit of money into this round, but it's gonna be low armor on that. So they gotta watch the trades. Vanity to the judge. So you have to expect that this is going to be something funky. Mazin starting shot to, to get to the other side. Yeah, geez. didn't expect that. And it's shower, that one just to go into the technicality of it. It's, it's a very weird angle because you both have such a long range. So if, if you if you minimize that range at all, you're the first one that's gonna be seen. It's a very tough one, very tough. I like that we get a, we get to cast Vanity with a Judge or a Bucky again, this time on the VCP stage in the Americas. Flash to get information coming out of Vanity. He's gonna get some contact. He's gonna keep a close range here. As MIBR, spikes being down more, lean towards this B side. They didn't mm -hmm. go for the same protocol of like flashing towards the showers at the satchel anymore. So right here. C9 is trying to expect something. The decoy to come out to get info. Oh, they see quite a bit. Trailblazer on long. Oh, the TP to get away, but that showstopper is still activated. Oh dear. Now we're forcing him out towards the hookah. Shot comes nice. down. He stays alive at 9 HP. Rotates coming across for C9 already as five members of MIBR are clouding towards this B site. Plant will be successful as Oxy's getting ready. He wants to drift. With 9 HP, that's the best you could do right here. Get information for your team. The flash will have for them to come out. But it's MIBR just waited and greeted C9 running through that smoke. They take the advantage. A TP comes across. Oxy's alone. And he's going to try to save this weapon. Wow. Absolutely closed down on B site. MIBR really utilizing the alts well, knowing what they have as an advantage, and they did not slow down. Even missing Oxy there, really well played, but didn't draw the ultimate. Very, very good by JZZ to know that that was not the kill he was looking for. Goes in, still does damage, and ultimately affects the site for the team in the long run. They're searching, blood in the water. JZZ can say how much damage he did, but they're not gonna find just yet. Four to three now for MIBR. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure what they were trying to do oh, for C9 off okay. the wall bang to take him down too. So that's not a weapon save. Nope. 
I'll we'll have to see if they're going to try something for C9 if it's going to be a half buy. But if we get it in the replay, I think that little mistake that we saw from C9, that flash that came through was thrown straight within the tin. So it was going to be good for the player of MIBR yeah. that was blinded within that B site. Mm -hmm. But you still have the crossfire set up on the top of the shed at the long B, and it was just easy kills for the players of MIBR as C9 ran out. So continuing a great match to start things off. These two teams are going back and forth. Four to three in favor of the Brazilian team of MIBR. An aggressive push out of C9. Poison's off. Three rifles Toxins to push down and fight up. towards the fountain. And only Oxy alone trying to get some audio cues. This will solidify a full retake here for C9. Struggling currently on those. Oxy helps it out. Coming into this round right now, C9 1 and 5 on the retakes, and they put themselves in a position to make this a round where they have to. Let's see if they can make it in. Already Oxy taking down Jesus. Seekers with a flash. Trying to get some info, but I think the Seekers got shot down right away, so don't get too much. Oh, oh no. Zeta's just trying to deny the lineups here from both players of MIBR towards the palm tree of Short A, but decides to leave it. Live to fight another day. That's not good at all, because that's the overall strike of Molly and two snake bites available for MIBR, so this might be a so done low. deal for them on the attack. Look at him falling back. He can just play the time right now for the attack. Yeah, and that's uh, just going to be C9 trying to run away on this one. Not ready. Nice Oof. kills, but it's not going to matter when the spike's going to go off and the round's still going to MIBR. MIBR stretching these rounds. That's a few now we've seen that just kind of go down to the way. They run, they kite, they, they continue to strategize around C9 trying to get into the site, and C9 is left wanting there. No spike, but they do get the frags. That's going to hurt a bit on the money as we watch it here again. Just a quick cleanup, but the time had already ticked down. Not too much, no, not too different on the setup. C9 continues to go with the 2-3. It's working. You can get Oxy to the other side to A. You can get the utility from Vanity through the gate on the other side of the portal. MIBR is now finding a way around these strats. I said it might be hard for them, but again, it's taking that time, allowing C9 to almost over-rotate themselves. As we have a pit to start off here in mid, a place that MIBR has wanted to take control of almost every single round. And it definitely looks like C9's been cooking here. I mean, you saw the lineup mm -hmm. even of the pit from Whippy. You're putting in a position where it's going to be difficult for you to dog here. You're going to decay as you dog down towards the short. He still stays alive within the back. The satchels now to try to clear it out. And Whippy to get, gets that pick. And there you go. The great position here across for C9. Short at least stops that pit from staying oh, he knew. And the showstopper then comes out, leaving MIBR scattered towards the back of the A. They couldn't control all uh, on the short side for the attack. And uh, gets denied right away. Felt a bit like the pistol round strat. Zeppa just kind of hiding within the smokes that MIBR is creating again there. Able to get quite a few frags. Oh no. <laughs> you ready for this? <laughs> Mazin's like, oh my gosh, what is going on? <laughs> so it looks like they'll have the one, two. Hookah here. As well as long B for Mazin. 30 seconds left. Yeah. This is looking good for C9 at least to win the round, but where MBR is finding that success is on these pulse plants. So mm -hmm. C9 continues now having to use an ult actually to defend and prevent MIBR to really get within this A site or any site whatsoever. With 10 seconds left, still committed here. 10 seconds left. Plant attempt coming out from Azim to first TP. And now with the spike going down, down, it's too late B. here for RGL to come out to get the plant. So very well done for the defenders within that B site. And that's Vanity with the play from Long B. So it allows C9 to narrow down the lead that MIBR currently has been building on this blind map. A lot of death still going through here. We'll have to keep a track on the money for C9, but that is definitely riding the ship of what they need to do. See here, it trying to push up again through mid. They've loved it. I mean, why not? The, the strategy they have to take the back side of A is so good. As well as taking that, once MIBR can get the site, it almost stops Oxy if he has a quick gate crash to the other side. So they're really preventing a fast hit from the Yoru as well to get back in. Now 5-4. Looks like they're spread across the map with possible B ending and Artsen with enough money in the bank pulls out the operator here assisted by FRZ at That's Long B. And now they know. But did he know Oxy on the left side? I mean, yeah, you're not I using your waiting. initiator with you. So mm -hmm. They heard the, great, the gate crash at least. But quite interesting that the op does come out from Artazine here as they've been finding a lot of success with the trades for MIBR to really 
flood the science and now they want to play a little bit more slower with the attacker side off. Still far back in A, expecting, you can almost see in that situation they're expecting MIBR to still explode on the other side of the map. They're ready for anything. MIBR has done a great job here. C9 themselves are doing a great job at trying to predict what could happen. The early rounds they were able to follow MIBR. And now it's a little less. And here MIBR will again find the numbers game. Good push, pressure towards B long to give C9 a little bit of a fake, and it's going to be that 3-1 on A once again. And then Vanity just threw the second flash towards short, saw nobody there, so there's that instant rotate out of C9 and a perfect timing as MIBR are trying to gain this space towards this A site. Artisan with the Blade Storm on the top, that's why he has the off here, so he can try to open up with the daggers, but Whippy still scores the first blood within the round. And C9 doesn't want to peek out. They just want to wait here for the tap to come down. Whippy finally gets a pick and off oh, the rotate through the TPs, though. The time was running down. Somehow, Vanity's trying to keep it alive for C9. A two versus one as the updraft to actually break his crosshair placement. Beautifully done for MIBR as FRZ picks up the kill. Snap time. Solid teamwork. Am I? You can always identify, I think, um, a ball of three for MIBR. You saw this. And wherever that ball of three is, it kind of focuses around Artsin. Artsin will have an initiator, and maybe it'll be my or RGL, or depending on how they want to do it, we'll see what they spread out to this time. But MIBR continues to just be so confident with that three. And we see the up down again here, and just absolute mind games on Vanity to end that round. And MIBR is using that three to basically do everything they need to get into the site. That means you have two people around the map now listening to what's going on in the rotation, able to grab that guy coming through showers and uh, from the portal. It, all the angles are covered when we see Cloud9 wanting to come in and that retake continues to go to the wayside. We'll get a C9 timeout now, see if they reposition, see if they change some things here. Four to six, still a very, very close game, but once a team is grabbing these rounds, when C9 hit their rounds, it seems like they had a definitive answer for what MIBR is doing. Now, MIBR is doing exactly the same. MIBR is doing very well here too. Even read the map. I mean, it kind of looks like from the info gathering that you're getting from C9 that they know where the hit's going to be coming from. But when it comes down to those fundamentals, maybe mm -hmm. something here that fraud has been bringing to the MIBR roster is to be a little bit more perfect on the trades they're able to bring out here for MIBR. So. Yeah. Yes, it comes down to some nice duels and some nice trades for C9, but when you're looking again at the storyline of how this match has been going, they haven't been really been converting their player advantage for C9. MIBR has been winning a lot of these. And also the Pulse Plant retakes have not been successful here. As you see it, the hand was sticking out. They're trying to get the wall bank. Oxy's already half HP. At least he's able to TP away and he's get back, the kill yeah. up <laughs> All the mind games. So it gets the keel up. Little overgrowth coming in now. And they step it back. C9, you can see him trying to put a wrench in the works of MIBR. Anything to, to stop these early hits. Otherwise, it would kind of just be a guiding light or a molly they'd have to wait for. So identifying and getting that info is huge for C9 here. And you can see it has slowed MIBR down. But now, do they wait long enough for C9 again to rotate out of these safe positions? That's the question. Or is it or they know the money's low here for C9. So I like that MIBR is actually cutting noise. Trying to see if C9 is going to try to do their signature. Mm -hmm. This is what we know from C9 last year. To just try to go for trap plays on the defense more aggressive. This time as the clock's, the clock's dinaling down, C9 is just waiting towards the back of this A site. So Jake's able to do a little bit of work here with this Vandal that he's saying as the Seeker comes out. Which will allow MIBR to get the plan. Zephyr getting caught with nade in hand. Mm. And RGL gets the wall bang. Even nonetheless. Zeppa got the kill with the Bucky. Our FRZ was hardly behind U-Haul for the instant trade. So nice work from MIBR. Oxy trying to move back within the Guardian. Off angle weighted by FRZ. Nice little bait and switch coming out of MIBR. Now Vanity stuck with only but a classic. There's a rifle long range there at triple that you can pick up. Dog's gonna spot him too. Now we'll see if MIBR wants to be a little bit more antsy. If they're gonna try to chase this kill and get punished. There's a tap on the first one. Nice peek. And well done here for MIBR in the end. I mean, look at how they swung out on that three versus one. 
Last round in the half. Even finding the man advantage, C9 still cannot find a way to make the retakes work. And I think one of the biggest things you said, Vans, there is the trades, the refrags coming out. We saw this hit on A. They all fly out on the bench, and it was a very fast flash out of the smoke, right? They got themselves almost on the front doorstep before they opened it. And everybody comes piling out. Everybody's trading, and we did see one person standing there. It was Mazin at the end of the fight. The refrags went in favor of MIBR, and A-Sight was theirs. The perseverance and the aggression that they're hitting. And you see C9 wants to stop that shower hit now. They try to get themselves into position, but MIBR is now on the other side of the map, and Oxy quickly cleans that up. Again, some fun these attempt by MIBR. The wide swing to come out in a second to be, but Oxy, rookie right now for C9. Yeah. It's always quick on the trigger. Even through the drifts, he's now two players for as long. It's just gonna get that info at least to keep them back. Great info. They're still waiting to see how ready they are for this A hit. MIPR has come back so much. And they may be correct on this. Two, three, the anchor is for C9. Everybody is an anchor right now. No one's moving. Realizing how MIBR has tried to flip the map so many times and just continue to end today. So we're trying to play mind games here. The mm -hmm. Drift spotted the two players towards Long being RGL and FRZ, but then we get a flash on the attack for Tuka to keep those players there. So the other players of MIBR that yeah. were spotted earlier on could try to maybe surprise one. Almost got that first Toxin, contact and pick, but it's spotted here by Jake. Now the crossfire set up towards the showers. Easy kill for Whippy onto FRZ. But the last two players, I mean, you heard the dog, so. C9's gonna be ready for this one. Sights vertically split again. Gotta get out of U-Haul safely, and there's one Whippy already on Mazen. 10 seconds left. Low. <laughs> Zeppa's just gonna clean that one up. I wondered if anybody was gonna venture into U-Haul and make that a few frags for MIBR, Switching but 7-5. Whoever's gonna be on sand. Yeah, this is quite interesting. You already see a Sheriff out from Artazine, double flash from Artazine with armor. So they're trying to go with the aggression and it works Side out. The spike's down, already D. down. Trades, trades, trades. Always here for MIBR is the name I of the game. The Quickly picked up his vanity, says, okay, bye. He just heads out of that situation. Showers has been on lockdown here for Oxy, so that's gonna get a little help in getting there. And that's the thing. Cursed. You're doing such a good job here for MIBR with the pressure that you added at the beginning of this pistol, and now you're funneling C9 to cut noise, trying to find some information within the A site, and you're playing against a Sheriff long range from yeah. Artazine. Now he plays it all the way back towards the site. And he could just play the retake now on a two-player advantage. Slowly playing this one. There's Vanity and Whippy to plant. Well, maybe get the rotate out and do a little TP. They're just gonna double up, see who they could have gotten off the first fake plan on a full rounder truck. All right. Good communication, at least. They get the orb up here, so if Vanity can actually start falling back for a bit, so now you're keeping, they might be our guessing, is there somebody down towards at short A, but it's currently being flanked here by Mazin, so they'll get this information very quickly and can flood towards the U-Haul. There's the orb coming up again. Vanity looking to be the first contact. Now we're thundering through the right clicks. Almost gets the one. Almost gets the second one, rather. And now Whippy's on a two versus one. The flash, he turns away from it. Trying to get the shot, gets the kill. Now it's halfway with the wall coming down. Here comes the white swing. The shiver at 15 HP is Whippy. Trying to come across. Close for eight oh! and bullets. Whippy gets the kill. And the Red Bull clutch with a pistol at cloud nine. Oh my gosh. What a save on that one by Cloud9. It is so big for them to get that pistol the way MIBR has been playing that could easily have been a runaway with a few rounds into your bonus. So, oh my, <laughs> this shot too. That has just been catching people off guard on that angle to showers here twice in this game we've seen. And Whippy doing everything he can in that situation. You know, Emmy, if you saw it, watch the interview, he says, it's underrated. I don't know what people aren't seeing in this guy. Well, you see right here, Whippy pulling out the controller plays to clutch that round, quickly hiding to get himself a win. All right, what do they do for this one? Slow movement to start off. Walls are already down all the way from B through portal here for the side of MIBR as they play that long wall. And MIBR is still stacked. B again for them. They want to fight this. They'll fight everything right now, it seems. I love it. 
Basically, the orbs up there. They're forced to TP. Maybe oh, a big, chaos. beautiful flash. There's that swing coming out from both ends. But Cloud9 has better weaponry. Mm -hmm. So that's a two for one trade in favor of Cloud9. And now they could just stop it. That trap play you attempted from MBR gets foiled. And this gives a chance here for C9 to just group together and play the distance here against the classics that you currently have on the defensive side of MIBR. Good to see from a team able to organize themselves around such a chaotic situation. C9 assessed it perfectly. Now entering B. You gotta suss out the rest of these members. Yeah, and it's pretty good. FRZ, though, at least, is able to catch a good timing for two kills with the classic. But C9 get the round and they tie up the game. Their bonus round is decent. Two Bulldogs right now for Cloud9 mm -hmm. and the rest. We'll see if they want to buy around that. See what they throw down. Some bulldogs. See the play once again. Yeah, this this chaos right here for Cloud9, what I was saying before. The fact that they didn't stop the strat, they felt comfortable to take whatever was happening, knowing that there were just, like you said, pistols or whatnot on the other side. You, you need to see that. They can't be shook after that first half. They have to know when they have the upper hand. And it looks like they are doing just fine in that department. Big split here from C9 onto A. It looks like this could get under the skin of MIBR in a gun round. We already used bonus. everything to try to fake towards this B side. I mean, look at the numbers of MIBR towards the Octagon. And as C9 are just moving through without any flashes, putting the smokes down, and even wrapped it around triple. So trying to pinch back towards showers and finally like, okay, we heard a TP and maybe too many players towards this Ooh. A side, but we re-TP on the other end. Maybe overthinking it. There's two players still alive for MIBR within the site. They have the weapon advantage. Artisan stops the Zeppa on that fake towards the A side. And here's that nice flash coming out from Oxy, who then comes in towards the Octagon. Mazin down to 8 HP, beautiful bird. As another one falls, the lineup on the second one, a one for one, but a disadvantage for C9. Aiming down the site, trying to get that first pick, but unfortunately the shots do not connect. And it might be our, they retake the lead. JZZ and the rest of the squad able to pull one up on it. The B hit from Cloud9, a little stalled on site. Nice job by MIBR to kind of back up, not allow anything off the get-go. You saw C9 got to that, got to hookah fast and then waited. Just a little bit of re rotation time for MIBR there. Hard to get the plant down. No extra money there, still a buy though coming in from C9. What's the play going to be? A push down mid here. One of the first aggression on defense from MIBR. It's a contact play. It's nice. Whippy did some damage, but just couldn't get the victory here. As he looks like he scored the first shot. Mm -hmm. And instantly we fall back, trying to find a heal. So that also allows three players to be stacked right after for MIBR within this B site. Making sure there's no push mid. Oxy covers that. MMB is doing a great job of not showing, not giving up any information that doesn't need to be. Looks like it's back to mid here for C9. Oxy's been covering this position. They won't have shower control on this one, so they have to be careful about that right side of the site as Zappa opens up Hookah. This is actually really good because now it gives some space here for they go C9 back. to work with. Yes. Exactly. You can TP across. Rotate already came out. There's no flash to support on the defense as Mazine falls down. Now they're gonna try to go ring around the Rosie. Oh, yeah. Oxy here's to rotate back. He's trying to get potentially a pick here if he can, but the timing doesn't work out. So still holding towards the U-Haul. If C9 is thinking about the first two rounds of second half, it was a pile of four members of MIBR. So they've been teleporting back and forth. And a triple swing right after the flash. Oxy's right. trying to get the second kill there. Oh, to oh boy. Orbital strike coming through. The spike fist has fallen somehow. And Zippa again is the last player remaining. <laughs> And the story continues with C9 working well on the first blood, but just can't convert. Yes, the conversions are not happening. I was saying before, the round one and two, MIBR had a stack of four members to rotate across. And on, you know C9 would have said everybody was at this site. So third round, we see the teleport, maybe expecting MIBR again in a huddle. But MIBR is doing such a good job at following here. The second round, C9 tries the TP play to go around the world. Smiles on the faces of MIBR right now. I think the desk said something really pivotal for them is there's only up, right? Where's the pressure? You know, they're chill, they're vibing, they're having a good time. They love what the team looks like, and they are enjoying playing together, it seems. Nine to seven here. Again, on that C9 pick of bind as a timeout comes through. 
And now MIBR is looking really good with this double duelist setup. A role here that GZZ is not unfamiliar with. I mean, even looking at the roster within the last season, when you're playing a map like Split, for example, which would be the second map here coming up in this BO3, yeah. he's also very comfortable in this range. So really doing a good job here to foil the plans of C9 every time they get this player advantage. It, but I, I got to say, last time they overcooked that one for C9, to be oh, honest yeah. with you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, being able to convert a 5e4s here for MIBR is, has been pretty amazing, right? The, the ability to get themselves into these rounds, knowing they have the advantage, or even convert when C9 has a 5v4. Uh, MIBR is 6 and 10 on gun rounds right now, so really coming through. Watching smoke. A lot of ultimates could be had here by Cloud9. Just one orb for four members, and Vanity gets his. I want to walk up for a contact and surprise the shower's push. Yeah. Works out for a trade at least. And they have a dimensional drift to get the information. So there's... Who's next? This is going to be pretty good for C9 to gain at least map control. Yeah. And allow here for JK to try to run out and get the plant. Also, orbital strike available. Molly, they try to fall back at this point. This is nicely done there as JZZ is caught in the corner. You're gonna try to fall back. I love the double flank that we currently have here from MIBR. The Seekers to ground. Mazine gets the drop onto Oxy. Wow. And even a push forth the spawn is, gets denied by FRZ. Numbers back at the advantage of MIBR. The weapon not strong for C9. Only two stingers. Jake is low on HP. Trying to hold his ground here towards the showers. Trying to stay alive. There's that first nice pick there onto Mazine to allow Whippy to get this backstab. But Artisan is still sticking on that spike. Finally, the jiggle across. There's that backstab. And now we can push across. Five hits and the fuse still comes through. It's falling apart. It's falling apart right now. MIBR picking up the pieces wherever they can. A quick defuse by Artisan. And they get themselves a 10th round. Now that's three in a row. 2,900 does go for that last round bonus to C9, but is it gonna be enough? They gotta find momentum. They gotta find what's working for them here. MIBR is sticking with this identity of aggression and patience. Whenever they need it, they can flip it on. The aggression comes from a group of three when they know they need to wait. We just saw it there from FRZ. A quick kill and spawn going over to Zeppa. Just really nailing the coffin on some of these plays, the way that MIBR is defending their sights. Here towards A, Cloud9. Before one again with Whippy kind of being off, listening for rotations, trying to help with that mid-round call. Yeah. And again, MIBR in Hookah, almost pushed up towards that short A side. They're not giving that much ground. And yeah, definitely trying to change the pace for C9 within this round. Ooh, but it was stopped right away by the utility you currently have from FRZ towards this long B. They still want to continue to pressure towards this B site. The ults to come out, the Seekers to push across, but they don't have control of Hookah right now. This could be very dangerous towards the post plant when these smokes will come down. So C9 haven't decided yet to move within this B site. They TV back within A. Cruising. Oh my. Different up. sides of the map now. Oh no. They're going to gonna hear each other almost i think oh they heard it yeah oxy turns around here as mazine gets created zeppa's the one that's waiting all the way towards showers but jzz also has a timing the timing across the showstopper out connection but then trade it right away and whippy was still holding towards that fountain it was gonna get scrappy no matter what through that tp play Advantage now for Cloud9. Showstopper misses. The pit comes out. We're trying to secure the round now. <laughs> oh, man. I love the crowd again. It's good to be it. back. On the money. RGL, RGL, though, a nice pick onto Zeppa. Two versus two. Oh, the tag there onto it. Be down to 16 HP. True Playing one. close within is Oxy. Just on the edge of that pit. He senses FRC coming through and gets that pick. A one versus one. The pit comes down, though, as Whippy gets picked off. RGL trying to scale up now from triple. The wide still across. RGL gets the pick into the fuse. And MIBR scores up at 11. The 1v1 is what it comes down to again. And when this came, this game came around, when you thought about it, at least firepower, how something might work, and strategy, you were kind of unknown on both teams, but MIBR is bringing in the refrax, bringing in the firepower when they need it in the 1v1 situations and making these rounds work. What a close by RGL Meister. We know he's good for those situations. We've seen it last year and it continues here. Another defuse there by MIBR, the retakes. 
They are just overheating on those. Beautiful job. What a great way to kick off right now the Americas for the Brazilian teams today. They're really putting up a fight right now as MIBR takes the lead by four on C9's map pick. Pit comes out early on the defense, so that now forces C9 to try to wrap around. Ooh, Jesus, he could have had that See? one, but Oxy punishes him as he misses the shot. FRZ holding within the pit here with his judge. He's gonna avoid a little bit of that utility, but that's still gonna allow C9 to plant for showers. Flash, yeah, not pushing through. He's making himself known though with this judge, FRZ. And his teammates are so far back within the pit. Two players now walking in and that's the pit down. Finally, C9, they're finding some good value here of working together with the utility. Archeo. Out to op, save it. So another round here. Could easily go in. And looking at Cloud9, I, I kind of want to put out the bringing the Yoru into the game. Looking at what Oxy does, otherwise we watch him on his jet, we watch him on uh, basically just his jet. Any dualist pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Fear, fearless aggression, right? Goes in, doesn't, knows what the jet or a duelist has to do to get into the site, break the chaos, to break crosshairs, and get into position. And I feel like, well, they can do that with this composition. MIBR is not allowing it. They're, they're either pushing up to make sure Oxy can't get a weird gate crash, or there are some people in the back to make sure that there isn't a gate crash that got by them and he's going to show up behind. So a lot of his options, I feel like, would be shut down from where we see him going in and being that kind of spearhead for the team. And Zeppa's there to kind of help with the post plan as well and initiate the hit, not be the one bouncing in. So I feel like MABR is not allowing this composition of C9s to work at its fullest. Yeah. Although C9 was able to drop that Viper's Pit, mm -hmm. is not out of the Fire Pit yet. Still trailing by three rounds. Op still available now for Artazine. Blade Storm. Hero Rifle saved by Mazine as well. And there comes the flank from behind. Somehow gets the double kill with the shorty. Very nicely done to wrap around behind here on the execution of C9. And that's a second attempt now to save the Vandal. The AWP yeah. has been dropped. And I met, what I mentioned just now, because last round was C9, but the aggression rather, it was C9 pushing through showers and kind of everybody behind Oxy there. This one was through short A, everybody behind Oxy there. A lot what it would look like if they did have that on a jet. So really uh, on the ball together with these last few strategies. And they just collect the rounds, easy peasy, forcing the save twice here by MIBR. Except is the only one that goes down, so they're actually building a huge economy as well as they hit MIBRs at the perfect time. Yeah. FRZ goes down to get some money. Better late than never at this point here, we yeah, have, right? Now 9 to 11. <laughs> Able to build the... 9 to 11 after four straight rounds for MIBR. C9 find a way through the defense. Got our first outlaw Ooh. of the Americas as... Oh, Oxy. Got some springs through the right. smokes towards the showers, and already a player has to fall back. That's JZZ looking for a heal, an opportunity for C9 to start scaling up within the sites if they want Down to. Destroyed. Interesting. Let's see. Oh, it's a double buy. You just picked up a Vandal. Okay. I was like, you have 5250 <sighs> and you bought a... <laughs> Man's just banking weapons back there in an arsenal. 3-2 split here from C9. The rotation here. is coming back in from JZZ. And again, let's see how much they crash in behind uh, Oxy here if they do decide to go in. It's Oxy that's trying to crash behind them as well. TPing out, but Vanity and Whippy are there at least for the trade. So great space created by Oxy. Cool. JZZ trying to find a timing running out through the smoke, but couldn't surprise his mm -hmm. opponent Zeppa. He's almost down okay. to nothing, but gets the heal top up from Vanity. Spike Viper down fight. and planet here for C9. And a Viper on Viper. Whippy wins that duel and eliminates FRZ. <laughs> Only Mazine and GZZ left up towards the pipes at the spawn. Both spotted by Jake. And what does that mean? Another save here from VR. Another save. And what is this? Sh this is A, owner, a is and shower play? <laughs> Getting that level of. <laughs> um, yeah, another shower hit. Another one. It, it's 
funny that, I, that we brought up Oxy being aggressive there, and it kind of, it did push a little bit more into that, right? A little bit more pressure on the rookie's shoulders to be the one to go in, and for C9 to find the refracts. Yeah. Doing much better at that, and MIBR doesn't really have the answer. This is the money situation we're talking about now, fully down onto that low buy. Sheriffs and a marshal for the side of MIBR. You bring up a great point, though, with Oxy, the pressure on his shoulders, first time Absolutely. on the American stage. You're feeling and, leaves leaves? and I think it's the good thing here of trusting the process of what C9's been doing throughout the offseason. Yes, they look kind of weird with the compositions that we're running, but being able to play <laughs> on a stage with a crowd in a, 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 over in Korea and then playing also in a Latin Am tournament, I mean, they're allowing him to get that experience on the stage quite early yeah. before stepping right here within the Americas. And he's doing a great job once again to create the space for C9. Only one round away for C9 to tie up the game. And as MIBR is trying to find an answer on this eco, it works out for a small trade here within this B site. Look at this push that you currently have from RDZ. Oof. And this is where not having a Sentinel comes into play. RZ on that large flank. Gonna wait for just a moment here. It feels like somebody might be watching. He knows it's a fig. He heard the snake bite going out for long. Dean is like, no, it's not happening. It's towards the east <laughs> site. So the rest of it might be our rotating towards the spawn. They have an Whippy. opportunity to go for the backstab here, but Whippy, six cents, turns around and eliminates our scene. How does he know? It's one of those lurkers. You want Oxy to keep it going. Closed. This spot being very strong right now on Vine now. Trying to go for the battle against FRZ. Who the defender wins it. Trying to make the economy a little bit more expensive for C9 within the next rounds. I mean, you've mentioned it, Riv. It's been looking pretty good for C9 with the economy. They've been building round after round. Nice shot from Azina as well. Out with the Marshal. Orb comes across. The tap's coming through. And both players of C9 are out towards the showers. And as the Orb comes down now, it's too late. Can aim down the site on time there wow. from Azina as Jake allows C9 to tie up the game. I guess one way to get back into that game is four hits on A eventually. And two of those rounds back to back were under 30 seconds for Cloud9. They have completely changed the name of the game that they're trying to bring to the table. An identity is currently being formed as we watch here on Bind. And yeah, it, they feel a lot more comfortable. Maybe just the cobwebs are, are off on what they were trying to do before. And they said, let's revert back to this. Cause that, that's as, as stark as it looks right now. Night and day from what they were doing before to what we just saw in the last four rounds. Hero, they will focus on towards the B site. Oh, MIBR is trying to join the party, oh. pushing down towards Long B as they heard the showstopper towards Uka. The first and second kills come out in favor of C9. Mazin and Mazino push him out. That's the spike down. Oxy was in a 4v1 over here, but then more people join, and it's actually two going down for C9 Who's now. Next? They run back a quick drift for Oxy as he goes dimensional on this one, and they should know the site's clear. Don't have to commit, though. It looks like they're still being quite tentative on it. Ooh, a lot of these. Trying to go for a flash towards a spawn. Oh, the long range, too. Operator two. down. Off to Shorty. Oxy read that and plays the distance to win it with the Vandal. TP's away. Advantage for C9. Double up towards U-Haul as Oxy's playing back to the backstab here, the post plan, the last player to watch the flank. But the dog spots both players of MIBR towards the spawn. Hand to hand, Whippy is just trying to hold them back with another snake bite towards the ground. There's that flash for a peek towards the front. It's beautiful. Both of them fall for MIBR. Beautiful discipline and play for C9 as they're now at map point. <laughs> from chaos to collected strategies here from C9. Everything looking great. And look, Oxy staying for this fight. Finally gets out of that situation. Takes the third one down and drops the high priority operator and spawn. Yeah, we talked a little bit about that before. Is the MIBR was, it has been playing so far back, stopping what Oxy really wants to do to get behind them, be a nuisance, but the firepower from the rookie is still there, fending off to it long, dwindling MIBR's numbers, not allowing a clean rotation to come out. And all of C9 together just feel like they're starting to click here. Whippy checking the, the edges and all the extra. There's no Sentinel. It just seems like the timing is starting to click. Timing is not looking too good though for an IBR. It is not. That's why they're calling for a timeout here. They said it was 11 11, but correction there, it's map point 12 to 11 for C9.
Is in there MIBR using their last timeout here of this map. See what they could do. I mean, they have they had a little bit a Jeez. little bit of money left in the bank, but this this buy should be very broken in round number twenty four. Whippy at twenty two and ten oxy just behind twenty one seventeen. Honestly, it's crazy to see what Whippy does on that uh, defensive um, lurking portion of the attack side, if you will. Continues to just put a yeah. wrench in everything MIBR wants to does that regards the big flank or trying to flank yeah. the side of Cloud Nine. Almost better than a Sentinel, honestly. So they quick hit. That's gonna land right on Mazine. Little hot toe there. And yeah, they get no guiding light together. Yeah, it is towards long. All right, so detection is out. Still is not gonna make anybody move just yet. We're looking at a replicated round here for C9 to get out of showers once again. Behind Oxy. This is actually great plays right now from MBR. JZ oh, gets the pick onto Oxy and they're trying to push forward. Orbital Strike even to push them back to slow down the pace that C9 has. I love the utility play that you currently have here from MBR to get a perfect read on C9 split within this A site. As C9's trying to answer back, Seeker's out, the dog's gonna hit JZ, but he satchels away and back into safety. And MBR have the power of numbers here. Went within the A site. The satchels comes across, RGL on top of the truck, but Jake and Whitby are right back. Close range oh, with the show was denied right away. away. And Jake comes back with confidence. Needing only one more kill onto FRC to close up the first map. 30 seconds left. Another TP across within this B site. The disadvantage though for MIBR is you're trying to play with a judge. So if you get a perfect timing here with the judge, you might get the win. But Jake's waiting right there. Gets the pick.